propenda Right. Just give me one minute. So you will get the recordings as well. And uh, okay. Uh, okay. We are. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, please, everybody join the meeting again. Uh, I am in already. Uh, so, the problem has solved. So, come again. Okay, problem statement and keywords. How to write the problem statement? Okay, research objectives. So, we are here, right? Now we know. Uh, this is the employee performance is the dependent variable job satisfaction is the independent uh, yeah, mediating variable as in the middle uh, between see the arrow ways uh, to job satisfaction job satisfaction to performance so it is in between right this is the mediating variable job satisfaction and uh, under the compensation package we have uh, we have considered only three important uh, ind uh, independent variables that is ways welfare facilities and friends benefits so and culture is our uh, 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 our moderating variable so uh, 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 how many hypotheses over here who can say uh, how many valid hypotheses can uh, can be considered from this framework anybody from you please to uh, sir um, i am brain Two, uh, two hypotheses. This is a culture and implies performance. Job satisfaction. Sorry, job satisfaction and implies performance. Uh, two hypotheses only, uh, Sister Amrin. Uh, yeah, there were six hypotheses. Six sir. hypotheses. Who is this? Tanvir, sir. Huh? Oh, who is this? Tanvir. Tanvir, bhai. Okay, Tanvir. brother Tanvir. Uh, very good. Mr. I'm sir Tanvir Rahman. Tanvir. Tanvir. Okay. So, uh, Brother Tanvir, you, are, uh, you have considered uh, six hypotheses. So, anybody have any el uh, uh, anything else? Is it six or two hypotheses? This is very important. Actually, your research is based on this framework. You have to understand the framework. You have to understand the research question, research objective, research hypothesis. This is very important. That's why I will spend a little bit more time over here. If you do not understand your research framework and how to uh, create the framework, how to develop the framework and how to write the hypothesis, uh, this is the very, uh, 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 very important aspects in research, especially quantitative research. Anybody else? Hopefully there are a lot of scholars there. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Uh, sir, actually, uh, we have two uh, variables here. Uh, job satisfaction is the, the re uh, remainders are controlling or mediating variables that depends on culture, welfare facilities. And okay. Uh, who is this, brother? This is Hashimi from Afghanistan. Okay. Brother Hashmi, how many hypotheses here? We have two hypotheses, dependent and independent variable, and the rest of the, hypo uh, the variables are uh, controlling variables. Uh, okay. If we develop hypothesis, then we can the two hypotheses for each variable. Okay. The alternative hypothesis would be null hypothesis. Okay. Uh, actually, nowadays, we don't uh, uh, talk about uh, the null hypothesis. We always talk about the alternative hypothesis. Uh, nobody from you are uh, understand how many hypotheses over here. I'm really surprised, really. Uh, professor, yeah, ten hypotheses. Uh, who is ten here? hypotheses? Uh, I'm Sobdul. Uh, I'm Sobdul. Uh, 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 did you ever join my workshop in Malaysia? Uh, no, no, no. I, I attended one workshop uh, that is Smart PLS. Okay, okay. So that's why you are considering ten. Very good, mashallah. What are those hypotheses, brother? Everybody listen to him, brother Sadrul. He is right. Uh, yeah, I have, I have 
We have three independent variables, yes. ways, welfare facilities, fringe benefit. Okay. Ways, and this is connected with job satisfaction, welfare, okay. and job satisfaction, fringe benefit, and job satisfaction. After that, ways and employee performance, okay. welfare facilities, and well, employee performance, uh, fringe benefit, and employee performance. After that, culture and, and relationship, culture and employee performance. And uh, similarly, culture, uh, culture, ways, welfare facilities, and fringe benefit. Then, job satisfaction and employee performance. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Any, uh, okay, how to uh, how to write uh, the hypothesis, brother? Can anybody explain how to write the uh, hypothesis? How to develop the hypothesis? Yes, yes. Uh, my name is my name is Humaira, and uh, okay. uh, uh, so uh, the uh, hypothesis may be uh, if the wages and uh, uh, welfare uh, uh, wages welfare facilities and fringe benefits of the employees raises uh, the job satisfaction level and employees performance also increases okay anybody else uh, okay i should uh, clarify uh, the things inshallah so actually, you can uh, hear from this framework. Uh, it is yes. Positive impact on job satisfaction. Okay. Okay. Please carry on. Yes. Now see in this conceptual framework, there are sixteen hypotheses uh, are supposed to be formulated. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, how, 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 how? Please tell me, please. I am, I, I am uh, very much uh, interested to know from you. Uh, how it is 16? Means wage, wage, welfare, facilities, and fringe. These three direct hypotheses have impact on job satisfaction. Okay. Similarly, wage, welfare, facility, fringe, these have a positive impact on employees' performance. Six. Hmm? Six. Job satisfaction has a impact on employee performance. Okay. Direct, direct, direct impact. Yes. Similar culture is a moderating variable. Okay. Here, that it moderates between wage and employee performance. It moderates. It does a moderate between welfare facilities and employee performance, and it moderates culture moderates between. Fringe benefit and employee performance, this but is, here in uh, this is this okay. section is a mediating variable that okay. mediates the relationship between wage and employee performance, and job satisfaction mediates the relationship between welfare facilities and employee performance. Job satisfaction mediates the relationship between fringe benefits and employee performance. Okay. Similarly. Similarly, satisfaction mediates the relationship between wage. Okay. <laughs> there would be uh, 13. Thank you very much, brother. What's your name? Okay. okay. What's your name, brother? Doctor, huh? Dr. Mansur Ali. Uh, Dr. Mansur Ali. MashaAllah. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, doctor. So uh, I appreciate uh, yeah. your knowledge. Uh, okay. Actually, basically, you cannot go beyond 13, uh, but you can consider it 10 or 13. Some scholar says uh, the okay. mediating variable, uh, the relationship between IVs and mediating variable and mediator to DV. Uh, so uh, these uh, indiv uh, individual uh, hypotheses, no need to write, no need to develop because it would be redundancy. So from their point of view, uh, you have to consider uh, uh, direct relationship, three direct relationship, always welfare and fringe benefit has a significant effect on employee performance, this three relationship and, uh, uh, and mediating relationship. Uh, that is, it would be yes. nine or it would be 13. The mediating hypothesis like job satisfaction has a significant mediating role in the relationship yes, yes, between I, I, OS, well yes. and fringe benefit and employee performance. 
so this yes, is i six, got it and uh, and culture has a moderating effect uh, uh, in between ways and uh, employee performance welfare facilities and employee performance and fringe benefits and employee performance either so you seven have to are consider, you have sir, to consider seven, nine yes please 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 doctor sir seven are direct effects and three are moderating effects and three are mediating effects yes so uh, and it becomes okay. 13 13 hypo hypothesis yes. i hope so maximum uh, yes. But I am clarifying this, uh, Dr. Mansoor, uh, thank you very yes, much sir. for your uh, sharp knowledge uh, regarding the hypothesis, uh, uh, I appreciate it, uh, but uh, there are two schools of thought, okay, yes. uh, uh, one school of thought, they are arguing that there would be only nine, another school of thought, they are uh, considering it as 13 hypotheses. As I was explain, as you have explained, that is the thirteen hypothesis, seven direct hypotheses, yes. and uh, three, uh, uh, sorry, uh, ten direct hypotheses. And uh, direct means uh, including me. Uh, yeah, the arrows is showing uh, uh, total yes. ten there. So uh, and another thirteen is mediating hypothesis, job satisfaction in between yes. uh, compensation package in bracket OS welfare facilities and fringe benefit. Okay, but yes. another school Thank of uh, uh, thought uh, they Please. are arguing that uh, it would be. Please uh, go to my house. I, I did not finish my talk. Okay. What uh, the other uh, school of thought? What they are arguing? They are telling that uh, when you are considering the direct effect between. Uh, ways uh, 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 between IV and uh, mediator and mediator to DV, then it would be redundancy when you are developing the uh, hypothesis uh, for mediating hypothesis. So they are uh, not considering independent, uh, independently uh, IVs and mediator, mediator and DV. In that case, it would be nine hypotheses. They are not individually considered the ways and satisfaction, welfare and facilities and job satisfaction fees because it is again coming on mediation. So in that case, uh, they are arguing not to uh, develop the hypothesis in between IVs and mediator, mediator and DV. So uh, uh, from their point of view, it would be nine hypotheses and another school of thought like you, uh, 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 the scholars, they uh, uh, consider it 13 hypotheses. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Thank okay. you so much. Jazakallah. Welcome. So, uh, how to write uh, the hypothesis? Uh, I'm just uh, yes. telling you. Uh, suppose yes. ways has a significant effect on employee performance. You will write the IVs with DV first. DV is our employee performance. Okay. So, IVs with DV, the first hypothesis would be ways has a significant effect on employee performance. Second is welfare facilities on employee performance. Third is fringe benefit on employee performance. Then fourth, if you are not considering individually, then you can consider the mediating hypothesis. Job satisfaction has a mediating effect in the relationship between ways and employee performance. Uh, and fifth is job satisfaction has a significant mediating effect in the relationship between welfare facilities and employee performance like this and, and so on. And uh, 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 yeah, sixth is uh, that is the sixth, uh, eighth, uh, seventh is uh, uh, culture has a moderating effect uh, on the relationship, on the relationship between OS and employee performance. Then next is welfare facilities and employee performance and fringe benefit and uh, employee performance. These are the nine. Okay, and yes. as per our Dr. Monsoor is explained, it is uh, to be 13 if we consider individually. So, hopefully, uh, it is me, okay, uh, right? Let me add something here, sir. Okay, uh, please. There are of even hypothesis formulation when we are going to even uh, write the hypothesis. It could be directional hypothesis and non directional hypothesis, one tailed and two tailed hypothesis. Yeah. We are going to come up with a, even one tailed hypothesis. The hypothesis could be wage has a positive impact on job satisfaction. Welfare facilities has a positive impact on job satisfaction. Fringe benefits has a positive impact on job satisfaction. Similarly, wage has a positive impact on employee performance. Welfare facilities has a positive impact on employee performance. 
fringe benefits has a positive impact on employee performance and job satisfaction has a positive impact on employee performance. These are one-tailed hypothesis or directional hypothesis. Yeah. And it depends yes. upon the literature review. Uh, yes. It depends. Uh, thank you on the very much. Yes. Uh, mashallah. Thank you very but much. Uh, this is for the directional. Uh, suppose yes, uh, if we consider the variable like discrimination or harassment, that has a uh, yeah. negative effect on job satisfaction. That has a negative effect on uh, employee performance, like mm. this. But uh, in the case of oil's welfare, there's uh, uh, there are some variables. Sometimes the result comes positive. The, the, sometimes uh, the result comes the negative. In that case, no need of, uh, that is called the two tail. In that case, no need to mention either positive or negative. Uh, you will just simply explain there is a significant. If what, if the results come negative, you will ex uh, accept that the result. If it comes ne uh, positive or, uh, or negative, you will accept that uh, 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 the result. So uh, in this sir? way, uh, we can suppose organizational politics on employee productivity or employee performance. Some, uh, sometimes it comes uh, positive, sometimes it comes negative. Welfare facilities, uh, employee performance, sometimes it comes positive, sometimes uh, negative. Uh, it can, uh, even OAS has, uh, uh, sometimes if it is low ways or high ways, and uh, maybe sometimes uh, negative or positive result may come. In uh, It depends on the context, which context you are uh, applying. So uh, these are the, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Monster, for your uh, yes, clear sir. understanding and uh, clear explanation. Uh, that might help Thank our uh, participants, alhamdulillah. So now, how to write, uh, how many uh, research questions we can arise from this? This is very important, research question. How many research questions we can arise? The first research question would be, uh, what is the effect of compensation? Uh, uh, research question is, compensation package, in bracket, you will write ways, welfare facilities, and fringe, fringe benefits on employee performance. The first research question. Second research question, you can consider what is the uh, com effect of compensation package on job satisfaction. Uh, in bracket, ways, welfare facilities, and fringe benefit uh, uh, with related with compensation package on job satisfaction. And third research question can be uh, the job satisfaction on employee performance. And Fourth research question can be the mediating effect of job satisfaction in the relationship between compensation package and employee performance. And uh, fifth uh, can be the uh, culture has a moderating effect on the relationship between compensation package and employee performance. Five. Yeah, either it can be three as well. Uh, what is the direct effect compensation package on uh, uh, employee performance? What is the effect? Uh, mediating effect of job satisfaction in the relationship between compensation package and employee performance and third research objective uh, research question ca uh, can be what is the uh, moderating effect of culture on the relationship between compensation package and employee performance so there might be uh, five or there might be three okay this is question and same number of research objective can be derived from here sir yeah please so compensation package is, I hope so, a higher order construct. No, no, no. Isn't it? No, no. Under actually, uh, this is compensation package. When you are, uh, your title would be, what is the effect of compensation package on employee performance? Uh, the, uh, yeah, the relationship between compensation package and employee performance. So under this compensation package, okay. there are so many variables are there. You have considered only three variables for your... Uh, uh, from uh, our literature review that these are the three uh, important uh, uh, variables uh, that are affecting the employee performance. Based on the uh, literature review, you have uh, chosen these are the, yeah. We did not consider here higher, uh, higher order construct. In that case, uh, oh. you have to take compensation package, then the number of hypotheses will reduce and uh, uh, research question will also reduce. So, inshallah. So uh, uh, let's, let's move forward, uh -huh. inshallah. Uh, how to write the research question, how to uh, write the research objective I have shown. And I think uh, my lecture slide is with you as well. No. What is the theoretical significance of the study? Can, uh, what is the sig uh, theoretical significance means? Dr. Monsoon, can you explain? Dr. Monsoon? Means uh, theoretical what? Which theories uh, are supposed to be used in a, a, a 
particular research model that are going to even uh, develop your research model means a theoretical which theory is supposed to, uh, is uh, contributing in your research model for example in my doctoral study i did make use of uh, uh, two factor theory hygiene factors and even the motivating factors in my doctoral study so Mashallah. again i did even make use of even uh, self efficacy theory and compositional theory of creativity in my uh, doctoral research uh, even uh, model so okay. it, it depends how okay. means critical contribution uh, means which theories are supposed to even uh, support your research model yeah very nice very nice thank you very much uh, dr mansur uh, uh, brother siraz uh, you raise your hand uh, to uh, talk about the uh, theoretical significance of the study can you explain brother siraz yes brother siraz yes brother hello okay so uh, as uh, our uh, dr monsur uh, rightly explained what is the theoretical uh, uh, yes yeah, significance actually uh, uh, theoretical contribution is very important uh, in our for solving the problem what theory we are using to uh, 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 to solve our problem for our study uh that's why in quantitative research we take the theory first uh, so uh, uh, un uh, under which theory we will develop our hypothesis we will develop our instrument for collecting our data and then our uh, uh, our results is supporting that theory or not so that's why theoretical contribution and novelty uh, in the theory that's very important suppose the for solving the same problem different uh, researcher use different theory so what theory if you are using the same theory then do not have any newness of your study in respect to the theory so uh, uh, the uh, always new theory is coming so uh, try to implement the new theory uh, which is been not uh, which is not been used uh, uh, any researcher before so you can uh, take those theories and you can uh, implement uh, those theories in your study so that is the uh, theoretical uh, sig uh, significance of your study okay the theoretical significance deals with how your theory will gain the new understanding uh, when applied to your study this is accomplished by looking at earlier studies similar to yours technically this is something you should uh, do anyway uh, to est uh, to establish the gap in the literature you are attempting to fill once you see how they expanded uh, the understanding of the theory you find uh, the next uh, logical step in how you will further uh, yeah further this expansion it is relatively simple so uh, this is the theoretical significance and how to write the uh, theoretical significance of the study this is the example i have given to you and what is the practical significance uh, anybody anybody what is the practical significance of uh, of the study what does it mean nusrat tarin are you there brother mahboob anam do you understand what is the theory, theoretical uh, practical significance of the study practical purpose of the uh, study ah yes please explain very nice answer alhamdulillah please is the um, the field we are going to research does it have any um, uh, effect of uh, implication in our real life yeah thank you brother uh, practical significance refers to the empirical impact that such event has in real life obviously the threshold to define practical significance vary between situation uh, one example resulting the positive to a life threatening disease is practic uh, practically significant while finding that the average length of like practical uh, significance means uh, how it is 
uh, it will affect, it will contribute uh, to the managerial decision making uh, for making uh, governmental policy, uh, how it will improve the employee's uh, uh, satisfaction level, job satisfaction level, uh, how it will improve the customer's uh, 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 satisfaction on using uh, the community. So uh, you can, uh, these are the practical uh, significance mainly. Uh, how it will uh, uh, how it will affect uh, to develop the rules regulation and policy to the organization in industry in country uh, how it will uh, how the managers uh, supervisors will be benefited from this study that is called the practical significance got the point and how to how to write the practical significance okay scope of the uh, study uh, uh, description of subject description of variables uh, then description of taste instrument procedures and uh, description of uh, special equipment type of training uh, time and duration of study analytical procedures uh, this uh, might be the scope of the study the operational definition how to write the operational definition suppose in this study uh, the employee productivity, how, what does it mean, especially in your context, in your study context? So labor productivity is a total output divided by labor inputs. It indicates the extent to which a firm's human capital is efficiently creating the output. That is uh, that you defined for your study. Same, what is social compliance? Social compliance is a process of implementing labor law uh, 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 local level laws, buyers, code of conduct, and international level law, ILO conventions, uh, and company rules and regulation in RMG industry of Bangladesh. This is how we write, what is the uh, efficiency, uh, definition of efficiency. Efficiency is the ability of an employee to do the work with minimum waste of materials. So what is work quality, what is fringe benefits, all, what are the different variables that are you, uh, that you are using for your study, uh, all independent variable, dependent variable, and mediating moderating variable, all the definition uh, uh, to be given uh, for these variables. Okay, and it it can be given by you or you can take uh, by you. okay. Ammar, you raise your hand. Please share your knowledge. Yes, doctor. Uh, now I just wanna. I think you already mentioned it, but. Um, when we write about the operation definition in our thesis, it should be taken from one of the references or it has to be by our understanding, by our language, or it has to be mixed between both of them? Uh, very nice question. As I explained in the beginning, uh, uh, in the session's beginning, when I was going uh, to uh, ex uh, just explaining the points, then actually uh, there are uh, two arguments there. Uh, some professors, some scholars, they said it should be uh, the uh, the investigator uh, should use the definition from the existing literature. So those who has already used this definition and same definition you have to use and you have to uh, uh, give the reference from where you have taken it. Then, uh, uh, but uh, in other scholars, other professors, uh, they argue that it should be given by uh, the researcher himself because uh, in which context he is going to study so uh, himself what he is meaning uh, in his research what is uh, 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 in wh in which aspects uh, or uh, how he is using these variables for his own context uh, own research it is to be given by the uh, uh, yeah, investigator himself the, def the, the definition. So uh, uh, you can use the both. Uh, if you can defend yourself uh, in front of examiner, both are right, both are correct. But uh, I personally feel it should be the researcher's own definition. It is my, uh, 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 my opinion. Uh, but uh, there are so many, they differ from my, uh, from my opinion. But uh, I feel it should be uh, 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 investigator's own. Yes, uh, Abdul, uh, uh, something uh, he, he was he raised in hand. Can you explain, brother, what what you want? Okay. Yes, brother. Okay. 
Now, uh, we are com coming to our uh, second chapter, chapter two, literature review. So, uh, uh, till now, I shall give you five minutes. If you have any questions regarding chapter one, uh, operational definition, 